Hello, and welcome. Uh, today we're going to be talking about how to do Coloscan Easy Gel, which is a procedure to monitor for E. coli bacteria in water. Coloscan is a very effective method to monitor for E. coli because you don't need to use a laboratory or pay a lot of money for a laboratory analysis. Uh, basically, a Coloscan kit for a cost of about uh, $2.50, $3, you can monitor a sample site for E. coli. Real brief background on why we're interested in monitoring for E. coli bacteria. E. coli is a source of bacteria that comes from uh, the fecal waste from warm-blooded animals. Humans, mammals, birds, all generate when they go to the bathroom, they generate this bacteria that comes out with their, with their waste. And if it gets into our water quality, like from a broken sewer line, runoff from a nearby field, um, or even like a direct deposit, like uh, if geese are swimming in the water, that E. coli will get into the water and will contaminate it. Now the E. coli that we're monitoring for is not really the E. coli that you hear about in the news all the time about contaminated spinach or contaminated peanut butter. We're just monitoring for E. coli in particular. The, the type that makes people sick is a very specific form. It's E. coli O157. Uh, but we're not really monitoring for that specifically. The reason why we do monitor for the E. coli is because it is a, if it's found in the water, other disease causing organisms can be found in the water as well. Viruses or bacteria uh, that a sick animal or a sick person uh, generates and gets into the water supply and can be contaminated. And then if you're swimming in the water or if you're uh, consume some of that water, you could potentially get sick as well. But it's not the E. coli that's necessarily making you sick. It's the other pathogens that are present in the water. Uh, in Virginia, uh, we have approximately 9,154 stream miles that are impaired for uh, high levels of fecal bacteria like E. coli. Uh, it's the single largest source of impaired waters uh, for the state of Virginia, and it's actually a very common source of impairment for other streams and in other states. So monitoring for E. coli uh, as a volunteer is very useful information not only to our agency at the Department of Environmental Quality, but also for uh, other government organizations like your local government because this monitoring could identify, for example, broken sewer lines if you're monitoring near a sewer main. It can identify areas of major runoff that you can work with the local soil and water conservation district and they can work with a landowner to reduce the amount of runoff coming from, say, their livestock. Um, so this is a very, very effective method, and we've used this for a number of years now in Virginia. So what you have in front of you today is you have four pieces of equipment. You have a sample bottle, pipette, a petri dish that comes with the kit, and also a bottle of the Coliscan Media. And we're going to be using these four pieces of equipment to collect our samples. Real briefly, uh, talk about uh, collecting a sample and water safety. Uh, when you're collecting a water sample, um, it's always a good idea to have either hand sanitizer or gloves with you because you never know what's in the water. Um, you could be sampling just below a sewer line break, for example, and if you sample and you don't wash your hands and, or have your hands protected and you don't wash your hands afterwards and you eat something, you could potentially get sick. So it's always a good idea to wash your hands or, or disinfect your hands once you collect your sample.